what is up and welcome to the ice cave guys today's video is going to be really quick i'm going to show you how to update or upgrade the ssd in your ps5 uh before, but before we go you need to know that this process is not supported by sony just yet they are going to release an update that will allow you to do this so that you can have the external storage and so that you can of course put more games within your ps5 so pay close attention here it's very simple you take off the side panel where the disk drive is remove that side panel open up the panel that you'll see is specifically for the ps5 nvme and then of course take your nvme drive that you purchased that is compatible with the ps5 and put that in the slot now i don't believe they've released a list for the nvmes yet but they should soon and when they do you'll be able to go and buy one uh but supposedly as long as you buy a, an ssd that matches the speed of the internal ssd on the ps5 you should be good that internal speed is 5.5 gigabytes and the ssd that i purchased for this install is 7 gigabytes so it should suffice the ssd that you'll see within the video is the western digital sn850 and of course western digital is a great brand very reliable and you can go ahead and buy one you know before they're sold out because of course during this time that's usually how things happen everybody will rush and, and pick up a product especially once they know that's compatible with their playstation so you might want to go ahead and grab one just in case and of course if it doesn't work you could always use it in your pc or you could just return it um but yes, so this is a quick process as you'll see. And you'll also note the, the error that you're seeing here. This is what happens when you put the drive in and you boot. So it's going to give you an error and it's going to tell you, hey, you know, this doesn't, this doesn't work yet. It's not supported. And then it's going to ask you to shut down your PS5 and of course remove the SSD. So it's very straightforward as to how to upgrade the NVMe, not too hard. And it's definitely going to give you guys some more space once it's supported. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the quick video, leave a like and, of course, subscribe for more gaming content. Thank you so much. Iceman signing off.